Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a search bar in Excel. As you can see, here we have the sample data set of employees of a company. We have first name, last name, country, age and CTC of all these employees. As you can see, we have hundreds of these employees and it is really difficult to look for any one employee. So we are going to create a search bar to search for any one employee. Also, the practice sheet is available in the description to download. So, without wasting time, let's get started. To create our search bar, the first thing we need to do is to click on this developer option. But if you do not have this developer option, do not worry. You can come here and right click and you have the customize the ribbon option. Click on it and you will have this menu. As you can see here, we have developer and make sure that you have a tick on this developer once you do just click on ok and then you will have the developer option here next i'm going to click on this developer option and then i'll click insert and in the insert i'll select this icon which is a text box so let me just click on it and i'm going to drag it here something like this so this is where I'm going to paste it. Now the next thing is to right click on this and go to properties. And we have this properties box. Now do not worry about all of these properties here. We just need this linked cell property. Now as you can see, I have pasted this text box onto this H cell. And as you can see, this is the H2 cell, right? So we will link this cell with this text box. So here in the linked cell, I'll write H2 and then i'll hit enter and then i'll just close it as you can see this text box is still selected so here we need to click once on this design mode so i'll click here all right now the next thing is i'll just copy these headers so i'll press ctrl c to copy them and then let me just paste them here ctrl v to paste them we can also adjust their widths a little bit something like this all right now, our goal here is to write a name of the employee here. For example, I will search for an employee called David and I should be able to get all the details of David here. To do this, let me just remove this for now. All right. Now, I will select all of my data. This is my data. So, I'll just select the first cell and then I'll press Control shift right arrow and then Control shift down arrow and all of my data is selected. Then, I'll press Control t to convert it to a table and it says create a table just click on ok and our data is converted to a table now we are going to use a formula so here in the first name i'm going to write a formula i'll write equals filter and then parenthesis and then we have the first option of an array now here i'm going to select my table so i'll just click here and then press Control shift right to select the first one and then press Control shift downwards to select all of my table now let me just scroll up quickly so after this i'll write comma and then we need to write another thing we need to write what we are going to search for so again i'm going to search through the first name so i'll select this first name cell and then i'll press Control shift downwards to select all the first names let me just quickly scroll up again and then i'll make sure that this first name should be equal to what we have selected here which is going to be our h2 cell so i'll write h2 okay so if it is equal to it is going to return as the result comma if it is not equal to then we are going to write not found all right and then i'll just close the parenthesis and hit enter it says not found because we have not given any result so let's say i will look for an employee called ollie okay there is no employee named ollie but is there an employee named david so i'll write david and there it is we have david last name country age and ctc similarly let's look for some other employee let's say lisa all right we have an employee named lisa with all the details available here so that will be enough for this video make sure to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one